I'm Bridget Collins and I'm Head of Clinical Education Qfora UK. I'm a great believer in education and the beauty of working with Qfora is that they are also great believers in education and so we are able to offer things that really support the healthcare professional, that we really connect with the healthcare professional. It's an absolute honour to be here at our inaugural education event. We're bringing the topic of psychological preparedness and also digitisation in the NHS. It's a great event, very forward thinking, and we're hoping that the delegates will get a lot from this to take back to their practice in order to succeed with transanal irrigation. I'm looking forward to the study day today to hopefully gain some more knowledge with regards to how to manage these symptoms for patients and ultimately to improve their quality of life. So I just want to give you a very brief introduction on motivational skills. So it's really a, a conversation with your patient about change where you try to help them to understand what their problems are, what's most bothersome to them, and then to help them to help themselves. I really wanted to get a little bit more education about using the Qfora products today. I've taken away about really listening to the patients and when you are talking about their barriers and whether you are asking whether they're kind of psychologically ready to start using the products to actually, if they do have that hesitation, to find out why maybe they are a little bit more anxious and are we able to kind of address some of those barriers. It was such an intriguing topic because I do see patients for transanal irrigation and most times I do wonder why they stop using, why they're hesitant in actually trying it in the first place. But today, listening to Monica, I'm now going to go back and look at how do I approach my questions, can I approach things differently. The main thing I got out of the lecture that Monica did was about getting the patient to actually write down their own problems. It's a really good idea rather than me trying to struggle to keep it in my own head. So that was excellent. Really appreciated that. We do motivation for the patients in our day-to-day -day life. When we do the treatment, when we do the assessment, when we realize that the patient needs some motivation, we always do that. But the psychological readiness was a key point to take away today. Patient-centered approach is very important and this event has given us a overlook into how we can approach the patient as a person and taking into consideration what their needs are, what their readiness are, and how they can make maximum use of the for our products.